Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video on Erit Academy. So welcome back to our daily issue analysis, Dia. And today again, we have taken one very important topic from the current affairs and we'll see what all, why it is important and what all we should know. So let's start our discussion. So today we are going to discuss about 5G technology. 5G technology or 5G spectrum. What is 5G? That is fifth generation technology or fifth generation spectrum. So why it was in news? It was in news because on 17th May, our Honorable Prime Minister of India, he launched indigenous 5G test bed. So this is country's first test bed. It is country's first indigenous test bed. So when we, whenever we are saying test bed, what is the meaning of that? So test bed means that earlier what was happening, companies, the startups, the industry players, they were having technology, they were developing technology, uh, the hardware or the uh, plans, technologies based on 5G, they are developing, but they were not having the uh, the testing facilities, the infrastructure where they could test and validate their products for installation in a 5G network. So for that, what they had to do, they were dependent upon the foreign facilities. Locally, the, the uh, any test ground or test infrastructure was not there. So this is in, was in news because Honorable Prime Minister inaugurated country's first indigenous test bed. Now the startups, the industries, they can test their technology in country at itself. Also, it is in news because tomorrow, that is 26th of July, government is going to auction 5G spectrum. So now we know about 2G spectrum. So 5G spectrum auction is planned and uh, government is going to uh, auction the spectrum of around 72 gigahertz and the plan or the government's plan or uh, the potential uh, through by auctioning this 72 gigahertz government is planning that they will be able to generate rupees 4.3 lakh crores revenue so that is the potential huge potential for filling government's revenue and uh, for beca because of which auctioning uh, auctioning of 5g spectrum is planned so this is because of this also it is in news so conduction conducting of 5g trials were uh, uh, is already going on and uh, uh, now 5G technology is a buzz uh, word around a lot of companies they are talking about it 5G supported net, uh, the hardware 5G supported mobile so like this lot of discussion is a lot of discussion and innovation and product development is happening uh, around 5G technology as a, and as we discussed the uh, this uh, conduction of the 5G trials uh, is also being done on the government side many private players they are doing on at their level so this is going on 5g ready phones are already there in the market so service providers they have been conducting the 5g trials 5g ready phones they have they are flooded in the market and we also know that we are in, we are already uh, the, in, in the era of fourth industrial revolution and here the fifth generation mobile network it is something where next level of mobile network will be there and it will shape the fourth industrial revolution where we call it also industry 4.0 so both we are already in the era of industrial revolution and the 5g technology is going to hugely shape the this particular era that is the fourth industrial revolution era industrial revolution okay where the quality of service delivery innovation by facilitating a smarter and uh, more efficient work around the, uh, the at the workplace within the industries or convenience comfort in our life will happen so what is it how we can see that so we are talking about uh, smart cities innovative cities we are talking about digital economy so the socio-economic benefits because of these technology industrial evolution fourth industrial evolution which will be revolving around on internet or uh, which will be fueled by 5G technology. So this data intensive uh, smart cities, data intensive digital economy, it is going to help uh, there. Also, if we talk about telehealth, we talk about a smart grids, the efficient management of energy, so energy monitoring, remote monitoring, okay, telehealth facilities, internet of the things, smart agriculture, where we are talking about precision agriculture, we are talking about sensor satellite based forecasting and thus 
the sensor based uh, technology induced agriculture so we are talking about a smart agriculture so in all these areas whatever we are discussing be it a smart city digital economy telehealth smart grids internet of the things everywhere 5g technologies are going to help us so the, the potential the benefit the socio economic benefits or the comfort which will be delivered by this well advanced data intensive digital economy will is going to revolve around 5g technology so that's why it is important and that's why it is in news so it is a futuristic technology now let's analyze the advantage issues and all the other areas so before we proceed to discuss the in detail 5g technology we have some data so data is that with respect to timeline the commercial 5g networks they be, they began to be deployed in 2020 itself so deployment started in 2020 itself and they are expected to reach almost up to 12% of the world mobile connections that is around 1.1 billion people are going to use it uh, through their mobile connections and it is also expected that it will be able to generate revenues up to 1.3 trillion us dollars by 2025 for the operators so remember this data so that you can highlight it in the in your arguments that what is the potential with respect to reach with respect to uh, the revenue which will be generated for the operators then you can make it as a point of argument itself now let's analyze what is 5g so 5g at simplest level if we analyze 5g represents the allocation of new spectrum to increase capacity so here it is about allocating the new spectrum and that too it is related to higher frequency so what has happened most of the spectrum at the lower frequency is already it has been utilized and much of this new spectrum is being allocated at higher frequency the 5g one which we are talking and the first deployment in india will be around 3 gigahertz but it will expand up to 12 gigahertz and beyond that so it is about a spectrum allocation higher frequency and now we have number also that is starting with it will start with 3 gigahertz and it will extend up to 25 gigahertz and beyond that also so it is with respect to the spectrum and allocation the alloc which we were discussing with respect to speed so the speed is going to increase and that too when we are talking about higher frequency it will significantly increase the bandwidth which will be available for the mobile services so it is going to affect it is going to favor the speeds which is going to increase between the range of 2 to 20 gbps unlike the in contrast with the 4g link speeds so 4g link speeds they are somewhere in the average between 6 to 7 megabyte per second in india and if we compare it with in the advanced developing countries so it is somewhere around 25 mbps so with this the we will be able to download the data the heavy content maybe 8k movies games or bet, with better graphics in just in few seconds so it will be helpful there okay uh, but for all these commercial benefits the users we as a users we as a consumers we need to have a device which should support 5g technology 5g enabled ones we should uh, have the hardwares and also if we analyze the economic impact 5g technology it is is going to give cumulative economic benefit to india and it is expected that indian economy will benefit around uh, us dollar 1 trillion uh, trillion by 2025 so this is the impact or this is the uh, economic benefit which 5g technology is going to give to india by 2025 so this is we should know that what is 5g with respect to spectrum speed and its economic impact now we will analyze advantages and issues now let's discuss the advantages of 5g technology so one of the important interesting fact which is related to 5g technology is is that that it will enhance directivity so what is the meaning of this enhanced directivity so when we operate at higher frequencies it becomes easier to direct a signal in a specific direction so the signals which are transmitted from a cell tower can be more precise they can be precisely directed to a specific user rather than spreading out in various direction and thus 
leading to wastage of energy. So this enhanced directivity will result in less wastage of energy. And when we are not, uh, since we are having high frequency and we can target one specific uh, direction, specific user, so it will also lead to lower interference because what happens when we are not having uh, this enhanced directivity or single specific direction, then we will direct the beam, beam of the waves for different users and they are going to interference each other. So that interference will decrease because it will be pointed in a direction for a single user. So less interference will be there between these signals for different users which again is uh, directly going to translate into increased capacity. So these are the benefits of the 5G technology's advantages. We will discuss in detail now. Another advantages of uh, 5G, if we have to uh, understand, then 5G technology, we can understand the advantages under different heads. So with respect to 5G, it places a special emphasis on low latency, means the delay will be less. Then it focuses more emphasis on efficiency, increasing the efficiency and a standardization. So under these three heads, we are also going to discuss the advantages of 5G technology. So the advantages, as I told on the previous slide that we will discuss under the specific heads latency, the first one. So at present, whatever wireless communication infrastructure is there, it is primarily revolving around the needs of the mobile phones. But if we talk about futuristic or the emerging application, emerging technology, be it the factory automation, gaming, remote healthcare or self-driving cars. So there we need to have more stringent latency requirements, means that the delay should be very less. Now just imagine if the self-driving car, they have delays between transmission and reception of messages, then what might happen? It might lead to uh, the accidents. So low delays between transmission and reception of messages are extremely important. They are critical when these cars have to cooperate with each other to avoid accident. So latency, the 5G technology is going to reduce low latency. The next one is with respect to energy efficiency. So the 5G technology, it is going to uh, increase the volume of data over a period of time exponentially. The increase will happen to ensure that there isn't a corresponding increase in the energy usage. The 5G technology places a lot of importance and emphasis on energy efficiency, which means that the enhancement of uh, within less energy, more data can be consumed or transmitted since latency will be less. So it is going to have lower energy bills for the service providers and not only that longer battery life for the mobile devices. Now just imagine just to send a file if my mobile a heavy file if my mobile is uh, working for 10 minutes or half an hour and if with 5G technology it can be sent in let's say uh, 30 seconds or 10 seconds then will it not save my energy bill? Definitely it is going to save my energy bill and it is also going to save my battery life. It is going to enhance the battery life of my mobile or the devices which we are using. Okay, so this is one aspect of it. Third aspect is related to standardization. So this particular 5G technology, here the service provider, the industry people, they are coming together to come up with certain standards where the 5G service providers or the vendors can have common terms to work upon. Why? Because today most of the components that make up the wireless telecom interact with each other, they are using protocols which are vendor specific. So there is no standard protocol. So to enable the rapid deployment of 5G infrastructure, the industry wide effort is going on to standardize the whole process so that the interaction between the different vendors and the different components becomes further more smoother. And this will also enhance or this will also enable the switching off of the vendors. So easily we can switch off the vendors because uh, it, uh, it will be easier then and it will foster competition. It will foster lower cost. At present, what is happening? Any particular component, the vendor specific protocols are there. So standardization of protocols and norms is uh, under process and the industry is working upon that. So this is also an advantage. It will lead to lower cost and for it will foster competition. 
another advantage with respect to research and development which is being envisaged is that the convergence of positioning sensing and communication technology so what what happens traditionally the positioning or the sensing or the communication have been separate technology for example for gp gps is there for positioning radars are there for sensing and coming for communication we have different satellites different technologies okay so this 5g it is expected that it is going to uh, resolve or they, uh, it is going to provide a platform where all these three technologies can converge together so all three technologies they involve in fact transmission and reception of radio signals only so hence it will be possible for positioning and sensing to be dependent upon 5g infrastructure the 5g infrastructure will be able to support it another dimension related to research is that it is going to boost lot of research with respect to semiconductor technologies why because the devices the 5g infrastructure which we are talking about it will be dependent upon semiconductor so a lot of research is going to be there around reducing the cost and energy efficient electronic devices which can transmit and receive higher frequency signals so that is an added advantage that whenever any technology will come it is going to bring research with it so ancillary industries ancillary not only that jobs uh, the uh, the research work everything will be developed together so it 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 is like that whenever any technology is coming it will foster it will boost research then it will boost the ancillary industries and overall economy and the benefit will be given it will trickle down to the consumer level so it is expected that this research on semiconductor technology will get a boost where we will talk about lowering the cost and we will talk about energy efficient semiconductors which can transmit and receive high frequency signals so these are the advantages now coming to issues and challenges if we discuss then the first issue and challenge is with respect to the design of equipment itself so at these frequencies the designing of the uh, transmitting and receiving equipments it becomes more complex and it needs more specialization so that is with respect to designing and uh, designing of the equipments itself so we need to have a specific human resource equipped resource equipped human resource for a specific technology so that they can contribute otherwise again our dependency on the foreign market or dependency on the uh, foreign players will increase another dimension is with respect to signal attenuation so it also increases that is the signal weakens because the 5g technology we are using higher frequency and we have to send it for longer uh, let's say longer distance then uh, on on the way it will uh, the, the there will be se several obstacles because of those obstacles the dropout rate of the signal will be far will increase so Uh, the signal attenuation is going to increase so the chances are there also with respect to coverage area the coverage area for each cell tower is going to decrease because we are talking about that the uh, that it will be directed it will be in a single direction so that uh, for a single user for a specific users so and that to when the signal attenuation is going to weaken then the coverage area overall is going to decrease that brings us to that we will require more towers and with respect to towers we know that nowadays with respect to environment or with respect to its impact on health the impact on of the radiations on our health we are developing a specific aversion towards the mobile towers or the towers which are supporting these technologies so it is another challenge would be there that we need more towers but we have we have land shortage people are uh, developing certain aversion related to health and its impact on the environment of the radiations and also the 5g enabled devices will be required to support the 5g technology or 5g spectrum based technology so this is going to further even though we are talking about that 5g enabled devices are flooded in the market but what about cost what about reach who can afford it who can uh, be it accessibility or the affordability it is not in reach of everyone so it is further going to increase the digital divide if everything is revolving around 5g only so these are the issues and challenges further we will discuss another issues other dimensions of the issues and challenges
Now we will analyze the issues or the challenges related to telecom sector which are in doldrums and how their status is going to affect the 5G spectrum and with respect to that we will analyze the challenges related to 5G technology. So the first one being the poor financial health of the telecom sector in the telecom operators. So the there are mounting dues and in fact the Supreme Court of India's ruling or judgment on dues it's uh, which is being sought by the department of telecommunication is estimated to be more than 90000 crore so there are mounting dues and supreme court judgment has also highlighted that okay and coming to the 2016 auction which was held in october 2016 auction so their government fetched over 65000 crore however 60% of the spectrum remained unsold so are you understanding the financial health that there are mounting dues which Supreme Court has also highlighted in the judgment and in 2016 auction when the judgment when the auction has happened government fetched good amount that is 65,000 crore but still the 60% of the spectrum is unsold and uh, if we talk about industries the industry is currently total cumulative death of the whole industry is around rupees 7 lakh crores so these three data with these three data you can analyze the financial health of the telecom operators telecom se in the telecom sectors not only that uh, over the years the number of telecom operators has come down to uh, a handful from around 15 a few years back so there were 15 operators now we have hardly few operators which we can count on our fingers as well right so that is the financial status financial health of the telecom operators so when we are talking about 5g technology we are going to auction it then again based on our experience we can know we we should analyze that what is waiting for us next is with respect to higher investment so whatever trial runs which were done in usa or japan with respect to 5g technology it has revealed that the investment is very high ranging from US dollar 6 million per small city to US dollar 60 million per large or densely populated city. So on the basis of that you imagine about Indian cities how much the how much of investment will be required right where we are talking about population also and India is the second most populous country right. So the third is UN Union cabinet has decided to set aside airwaves for private enterprises. So telecom companies are not happy with this. So union cabinet have decided that uh, the sharing of 5G resources will be separately kept for the separate airways will be kept for the private enterprises. So when we talk about private enterprises means that the seaports or the factories, airports, the ports, they can have their own private wireless networks. So these are the cellular networks which are built especially for their needs so individual enterprises so these networks they often are deployed or they are often considered as single unit for example port as we told and airports or factory and they can also be used in wide area setting okay to monitor it real time for security purposes or maybe you can say monitoring a mine in real time so it can be a private network private enterprise so what government is planning government has decided that they will keep aside certain airways for these enterprises but uh, now the telecom operators are not happy with this they are saying that the this is this slicing of a spectrum for uh, private networks will eat out their revenue they because the uh, 5g related technology or the spectrum will be more used by the uh, by these private enterprises only hardly it will be used by the single operator so definitely when the consumer biggest part of the consumer biggest chunk of the consumer if we are keeping separate airways for them only then from where the telecom operators will earn the revenue so that is a fear and that is a genuine fear also the higher price higher reserve price by try has been kept for this and uh, it is around four rupees 492 crores per megahertz so for 5g spectrum this uh, which will be put out for bits for the first time which we told that it will be starting from 3 gigahertz 
सो हेयर द रेगुलेटर हैज़ रिकमेंडेड डेट अ पैन इंडिया अगर किसी को रिजर्व किसी को ऑप्शन में स्पेक्ट्रम चाहिए सो दे हैव रिकमेंडेड डेट अ पैन इंडिया रिजर्व प्राइस विल बी ऑफ रुपीज फोर नाइन्टी टू करोर पर मेगा हर्ड फॉर अनपेयर्ड स्पेक्ट्रम जस्ट इमेजिन इज एंट इट वेरी हाई सो येस इट इज एंड मेनी प्राइवेट टेलीकॉम ऑपरेटर्स लाइक भारतीय एयरटेल वोडाफोन आइडिया दे हैव हाईलाइटेड डेट they have pointed out they are unhappy with this reserve price of these airwaves and it is very high okay not only that even the uh, cellular operator association of india they have also told that 5g is overpriced in india and it is approx 30 to 40% overpriced and when they are analyzing this uh, the cellular operator association of india coai they have pointed out that this 5g is overpriced by at least 30 to 40% with whom when they compare it to international standards and auctions in other markets like usa or south korea so in that comparison it is overpriced okay so these are the issues and challenges related to telecom sector from their point of view there are two more issues let's discuss so other two challenges are related to fiberization so the extent of fiberization is very poor in india so what is fiberization so when we talk about fiberization the this is the process of connecting radio towers with each other via optical fiber what uh, if we are connecting two towers with the help of optical fiber cables this is called fiberization so in india at present uh, the extent of uh, fiberization is very poor the existing radio towers are yet to be connected via optical fiber cables and this will require huge amount of time energy and resources so this work of connecting towers could prove will be a huge challenge for the country and if it is done then only we will be able to utilize the network or the towers in full capacity then only the you know, they can carry large amount of data because once the 5g service 5g services are rolled out then data flow will increase for that we need to connect the towers through optical fibers so that is still lacking and it will be a challenge and if we analyze it with respect to the finance from economy point of view finance point of view then higher investment for fiberization would be required and to reach that target the, uh, the that particular target India requires around rupees 2.2 lakh crores of investment, and that to for what? So that they can achieve the target of 70% of fiberization of towers. So even if we are going for 70% uh, fiberization of 70% uh, uh, of towers are fiber uh, fiberized, then also we will need 2.2 lakh crores of investment. Just imagine if we are going for 100% towers fiberization, right? So these are. another set of challenges now let's discuss the way forward with respect to the way forward the future of course of action should be that there has to be independent economic assessment and that to city wise assessment should be done we can uh, begin with metro cities we can we should assess the commercial viability of the 5g deployment in india and if we can learn then we should learn from uh, singapore so singapore had planned for four 5g 5g network only two comprehensive 5g networks and two other with a smaller and limited coverage and the reason is that only that the high cost of deployment of fiber cables and the scarcity scarcity of 5g airwaves okay so we need to do the independent economic assessment and city wise approach should be there wherever it is required wherever and not only that with respect to population also we need to identify the population to be covered if we are covering any rural area there is no economic viability there is no uh, benefit for them because neither neither they can consume the 5g services nor they will have the devices for the 5g uh, to avail the 5g services so we need to identify the population which has to be covered then only it will be logical so identifying the end users and the population to be covered will help in analyzing the, uh, the uh, rolling out plan for the 5g services also we need to analyze the network and operators with respect to the identification of cities uh, the existing network and operators who can work on the rolling out plan Uh, with respect to the services what they are providing with respect to the competition how much they can uh, 
competitively they can uh, bid the prices and uh, they can provide the services at affordable cost to the consumer so we need to analyze the network and operators as well okay the capability of the network how much our network is ready to roll out the plan and we need to come up with working out an investment model so that the digital risk or the pricing based on externalities of the and the usage of the various sector will be minimum or will be less as less as possible so we need to come up with a cost benefit analysis model by the independent experts which will create a level playing field for everybody okay also try the telecom regulatory authority of india should consider preparing a full proof plan a spectrum road map so that predictable renewal process or the uh, will be there which will help uh, the uh, service provider to compensate the huge investment which we, they are deploying in order to roll out the 5g uh, technologies so try need to come up with a spectrum road map so that the there has to be a predictable renewal process and not only that in the end we should also the government should also explore triple p that is public private partnership partnership should be explored because we know if we talk about fiber investment or attracting investment whatever measures or the services or the infrastructure whichever is required the cost is huge so public private partnership can provide some edge or they can provide some benefit to there and when we are talking about public private partnership we should not ignore fdi so allowing fdi that is 100% fdi in telecom sector under automatic route along with these policy reforms can help okay so with these points you can write that what could be the future course of action from government point of view from regulators point of view from the uh, the network service provider point of view that economic assessment should be done capability viability everything should be assessed how and from where the funding will come who is the uh, end receiver end user accordingly we should come up with a plan and uh, then only it will be viable feasible for everyone and it will be a win win situation okay so this is all for today's discussion hope you all enjoyed the video you must have got to know about uh, a very important crucial topic because it can be asked in gs3 that uh, what is the status of 5g technology in india what are the challenges lying ahead so we should have clear analysis with us with data with depth of dimensions so this is very important topic revise it well and make use of the handwritten notes which we are providing in the uh, telegram channel you will get the details of the telegram channel in the description box so enjoy guys and take care bye bye